ABC News Deputy Political Director Avery Harper joins me live now along with ABC's Jay O'Brien in Washington. So Avery, I'll start with you now that the committee's work is done here. What impact do you think it's made on the political landscape? Well, the committee was really tasked with laying out the case for what happened on January 6th for the American people. And, you know, the country is in a very divided place. And so uh, there is a segment of the country that despite bombshell after bombshell that uh, the committee laid out over the past 18 months, uh, those folks were not buying what the committee was selling. But uh, what's really important is that the committee, uh, can what they found cannot be hidden. They are is in a historical accounting for what happened on January 6th. And uh, perhaps the most important part is there uh, is all of this evidence that has been laid out, a roadmap of sorts for the DOJ, because, uh, of course, if there was any action taken on those criminal uh, referrals, it's going to be the DOJ that takes action. And, Jay, Republicans, we know, are set to take control of the House after the new year. They have vowed to investigate the investigation. So what can we expect there? Well, how they pull that off. And how that happens is somewhat unclear. We know that Kevin McCarthy, who's running to be the next Speaker of the House, poised to take that job, although he's got his work cut out for him there, has said that that's something he wants to investigate the January 6th uh, investigation. But our intrepid team on Capitol Hill, uh, particularly on the House side, uh, caught up with um, Jim Comer, who's going to be the chair of oversight, and Jim Jordan, who's going to be the, James Comer's going to be the chair of oversight, and Jim Comer's going to be the chair of judiciary. And, and both said that investigating the January 6th committee itself is not a particular priority for them. Comer said, right now, that's not anywhere on my list. So there's some confusion as to what exactly an investigation of the committee would look like, if it would even happen, although there are far-right members of Congress, Marjorie Taylor Greene being one of them, who are poised to have power in that slim GOP majority in Congress come January who do want to investigate the January 6th committee. So how that plays out, if it occurs, is still an open question, I can tell you, within the House GOP conference itself. And Jay, the House is set to vote on that massive government funding bill to avert a shutdown later today. What's in the bill, and can they get it done before today's deadline? Well, they've got until Friday at midnight to get it done to avoid a government shutdown. I can tell you that all signs point to go. All lights are green for them. It looks like they'll have it passed in the House by this afternoon. It passed the Senate yesterday. What's in it is a big question. There's $1.7 trillion uh, in this omnibus spending bill. Firstly, the big thing it does is it funds the government. But in addition to funding federal agencies, it's got uh, $45 billion in there for assistance for Ukraine, both military assistance uh, and humanitarian assistance. You see on your screen there, $858 billion in military spending. Uh, but also, it has these non-spending provisions. There's a protections for pregnant workers. It's on your screen there. Funding for child care. But also, a ban on TikTok, on government devices, something that came out in the Senate earlier this week. And all an overhaul of the Electoral Count Act, which was the law that Trump and his allies tried to abuse on January 6th to overturn the 2020 election. They always like to cram a lot into that funding bill on the 11th hour. Avery Harper, Jay O'Brien, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.